Good afternoon. Pastor Larry from Millerton Wesleyan Church. And today is the National Day of Prayer. And I would like you to join me in prayer for our nation, for our families. And as we pray together, we ask that God will lead us through this time. We were hoping to gather together as a community, but because of the coronavirus, we were unable to do so. So at this time, I am asking the Lord to help us to pray with one another separately, but together. Would you take this time and help me pray for our government, our local officials, for our teachers, for those in our country that need our help, and also for our families? Let's first begin with our government. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that the leaders of our country, that you will help them and guide them, that you will give them wisdom in all matters related to the COVID-19 virus and the major nation and global changes they address daily. We ask God that you will work in them and through them. And we ask Lord for a spiritual awakening. We ask God that you will work not only with our president and vice president, governors and state officials, but our local leaders as well, the police departments, fire and EMTs. Lord, we ask that you will keep each of these entities safe during this time. We ask Lord that you will give them wisdom, that you will guide them and direct them and to help them to know exactly how to open up our country again. Lord, we ask for your wisdom and guidance in this. And we pray for our governmental officials in every facet that they will listen wisely to your guidance. In Jesus' name. We also pray for our military. We pray that the Lord will protect the leaders and their personal serving our nation through the military and for them to use every opportunity that they are presented to exhibit the glory of God across the nation and around the globe. Heavenly Father, we come before you and ask, Lord, that you will be with our military, all areas of military. Lord, they have a great task in front of them. And Lord, we pray that you will give them wisdom that you will guide them, and that you will keep them safe, whether they are here in the United States or abroad. Lord, we ask for your great protection, our military men and women, as they serve us and serve you. Thank you. We also need to pray for those in the media arts that they would share the truth of the things that are going on in our world, that they will give clarity to the truth that is being shared by either our president or government official. We pray for each person working in the media and the art professions to find ways to use their talents and technology to fill the airwaves to the glory of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we lift up the media. We know that sometimes it can be biased. It can lean one way or the other. But Lord, we ask that you will help each media facet to just tell the truth and not to color it and not to glorify it and not to have people be scared or frightened over what is happening but to be clear with the direction and with what they are sharing with our nation and with our communities. Lord, we ask that you will speak boldly into their hearts as they present the news. And Lord, we don't want it colored. We don't want it whitewashed. We want the truth. So Lord, we ask 
that you will help them just to present the truth as it is. And then we will know the direction that we need to go. Thank you, Lord, for these answers that you are sending. In Jesus' name. We also want to pray for our business leaders to show the glory of God as they work together to reopen the economy of the United States and for the financial blessing and prosperity to return. We pray for spiritual understanding of what is needed for a safe return to businesses. We pray that God revives all to the glory in our businesses. Heavenly Father, there has been a great economical strain on our country during this time. Many businesses have closed. Many businesses have lost large amounts of revenue. Lord, we ask that you will just help them as we begin to open up our country over the next several weeks and months, that as things begin to come back to some sort of norm, that they won't rush into things, that they will follow the guidelines that are set before them, and that we will be safe in our country and in our communities. That at each area, as they begin to open up the opportunities for revenue to continue to flow, Lord, we ask that you will bless each and every business, that things will be better than what they were. Lord, we ask that you will work in these men and women's lives to help our businesses be more than what they ever were before, that we will be a stronger, unified nation, and we'll give you the glory for it, in Jesus' name. For our education, I know that it's been quite difficult for many. A lot of the teachers have been done doing things remotely, and many have uh, leaned on their um, parents to help guide and teach in the homes. Those who are not used to having homeschooling, I'm sure have been struggling. And those who have done homeschooling, they've just moved right along. But we still need to pray for the education of our leaders who help our children. We pray for the administrators, the teachers, the faculty teams who are working to remote, who are working to continue the education of our students remotely. We pray that God will use them to exhibit his glory through them to their students at this time of social distancing. Let's pray for those who are in our educational department. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we ask that you will watch over our teachers. We have several, even here in our own church, who are teachers. Some are homeschool teachers. Some work for uh, a local school. Some are part of a school that is a Christian school or a private school. And Lord, during this time, this change has been very difficult to be able to communicate and to teach to train through, uh, through the internet and to give papers and to do lessons. Lord, I pray for the teachers to continue to be able to provide for our children and for the students, to guide them, to lead them for clarity and understanding. And Lord, I pray for the students. I pray that they will listen and do the work that they are called to do that they will be able to uh, put together the lessons and, and answer the questions and that they will be able to do what is necessary so that they can continue with their education. Lord, we thank you for our teachers and for the helpers and for those who are in leadership in our education. We ask God that you will continue to guide them. We ask these things in Jesus' name. We also want to pray for our church, the local church. The churches of our nation will show wisdom and discernment as they begin preparations to reopen their church buildings. We pray for churches 
to live out the Great Commission in their neighborhoods and around the world. And we pray that the glory of God will fill the churches across the nation in a new and fresh way. I know that here at Millerton Wesleyan Church, and that through the internet, we have seen God work in the hearts and lives of people. We have people who have been saved through the ministry of Millerton Wesleyan Church through the online viewing. And we ask that God will continue to do a mighty work hundreds and thousands of miles away from our local location. But we also do not want to forget or forsake the coming together as a body. I can't wait for the time when we can share together with one another and meet in one place again, but not just to meet here to fellowship with one another, but then to take the good news of Jesus Christ out into the world and out into our communities, into our homes. We are doing that through some of the uh, communications that we've had, but I'd like to do it even more. Disciple making is important. I pray that God will guide us and lead us into a new area of disciple making, making disciples, making disciple leaders. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you and ask that you will give wisdom, not only to myself, but to our local board, and also to all the churches in our community, that you will guide them and lead them, help them to discern what is next. What are we going to do when we're allowed to meet again? What does that look like? How are we going to communicate the love of Christ? How are we going to share during this time of reopening? Lord, I pray that you will guide us and give us wisdom. I pray that you will help each congregation throughout the United States, wherever they may be, and however that looks. But Lord, I also ask that the opportunity that we've had over the last several months to be able to go online and to share the good news of Jesus Christ that you will help us to continue to do that effectively. We will be able to see a, a more uh, individuals come to know the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Then after that, be able to disciple them even remotely. Lord, give us the tools and the wisdom and how to do that. And we will give you the praise and the glory for it. Amen. We also want to pray for our family. I know that many of our families, it has been very difficult during this time. Some have lost loved ones and were unable to even be by their side as they went on to their glorious return or their glorious re um, heaven. And we ask that God will just prepare our hearts to love them and encourage them. Lord, we ask that we will be able to share with our families once we get back together. And then there have been those who have struggled during this time because of lost jobs. Some have had a lack of food, but we ask that the Lord will continue to provide for the needs of our families. We pray for our families that they will be drawn closer together and closer to God during this time. And we pray for them facing this unemployment and financial issue and that God will meet their need. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for our families. We know that there have been some who have lost loved ones during this time, and we ask God for your presence of the Holy Spirit to touch their hearts. Lord, we pray that his comfort will be with them, even though we may not be able to stand next to them and to show them how much we care. Let them feel our prayers. Let them feel your presence. Lord, we pray for moms and dads and children as they have been together in the homes a whole lot longer than just over a winter break. But Lord, we pray that the families have been able to grow stronger together because they have relied on each other. Lord, I pray for patience in the homes of families. I pray for guidance as they work through the challenges of financial difficulties. 
And Lord, I pray that you will continue to bless each family. We give you the praise and the glory for it in Jesus' name. Lastly, I would like us to pray about our condition globally over the COVID-19 virus the pandemic. We are asking God in his mercy to stop this pandemic and save lives, not only in our countries, but around the world, particularly in places that are unequipped with the medical needs to deal with this. We are asking God to grant us wisdom in the moment of fear as the foundations of what we know are shaken, that others would realize how fragile life is and how real eternity is, and that would see and that we would see the need to turn to God. And we're asking God to protect our missionaries and their families around the world, and that at this moment would be used to advance the good news in every town, in every city, in every state, and in every nation. And that we ask God for a medical breakthrough and for the researchers to develop a vaccine for the COVID-19. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will give wisdom to those who are dealing with the COVID-19 virus, the CDC. Lord, we pray that a cure will come, a vaccine. But in the meantime, we ask God for your protection. We know that you know all things. You knew this was coming and you have a plan, a plan that is greater than we could ever think or imagine. And so, Lord, we ask that you will help those who are working most closely for this COVID-19 virus and this pandemic. We ask God that it will be over soon and that we will see your hand at work. Lord, help, guide, and direct. You the praise for it. Thank you for joining me today in prayer. Thank you for spending just a little time with God, with me, and praying for our nation, for our families, and for God to reveal himself in a mighty way. May the Lord bless you.